Okay, I owe you a little update. So, two things. One, this thing, it works now. I'll get to this in a second. Two, this. This is my uh, electric hand drill, which is evidently a bit old using, what is it? Oh, it doesn't even say, oh yeah, it says in the middle, cadmium, nickel cadmium cells. And those are a bit weak. So, I had another battery over this one. Um, as you can see, well, you can probably not see it, but it's quite a lot lighter than the original one. And it has a screw on the top here. <laughs> um, what I did, so this one was completely dead. I charged it and it basically discharged in uh, a few hours again. Uh, also, uh, well, when I took it apart, it was full of salts and acid and whatever because well, it was just old there is a tap broken off here but i don't care uh, same thing happened with this one i don't know why but as long as one taps in there it's okay and if i really want to i could just uh, fix that but it's it's working anyway with just one tap just hope it doesn't break at some point so <clears throat> As this one is lighter, and it still works with this one, uh, in fact I'm going to show you how it works, going to put you over here, lift this one over here, and now listen to the difference of the sound. Quite a bit of difference, so this one contains a 14.8 volt uh, LiPo lithium polymer battery with a protection board. I'm not going to take it apart again and show you because it's not that spectacular. It's just one of those hobby LiPo batteries, the, the square ones, not square, rectangular ones, cube, whatever. Um, <clears throat> just one of those. Two big leads, a few smaller leads for balance charging. At least I hope the board does balancing. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's it's a protection board. It protects the battery from going nuclear on me. So that's at least something. Um, <clears throat> if it do, stops working at some point, I'm going to take it apart. It might have to do a balance charging. But it's going to protect the cells from failure, I hope. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I put that in there, wired it up to the old contacts. Like you see, maybe you can see here, this bright spot here, that's one of the batteries of the old ones. They packed this full with them. There's a lot of air in here now. <laughs> There's nothing here in the top. There's just the battery and um, the protection board, and it now has 2200 instead of 2000 milliamp hours. At least that's what the uh, what the listing said of the battery it was 18 bucks 18 something euros what i paid for the battery and i think 350 or 4 euros uh, for protection board <clears throat> so i put that all in here wired it up and it works i did not charge it yet because it didn't run flat yet so that's nice uh, i've been using this for i don't know a few things already and still works <clears throat> so that's one thing i did next thing well i'm still charging it because i just used it um hope you can see it see this one it's a diode um i replaced the thingy back here it's, it's not hot i'm charging at the moment it, it's not super hot I, it actually it's not even warm i glued it in here with hot snot um, so I'm just hoping that it will never get too hot and while charging it's fixed in place with the uh, with the plug here so I just hope it doesn't uh, move around in there but it works now and it doesn't break anymore so either the charging board the chip was faulty by default or I fucked it up by not using a protection diode um, the protection diode does the following. As soon as you break contact, 
Um, the motor is basically an inductor. If you break contact, there's going to be a voltage spike that tries to keep the current going. Which meant I was able to see some sparks here when I opened it. These high voltage spikes could have damaged the module. Now we have a diode in here and a slow start circuit in here. Which is just a resistor, a capacitor and a Darlington transistor. Wait, did I already say transistor? No, okay. Resistor, capacitor, Darlington transistor. Three parts. <coughs> And it's in, it's not exactly in series, there's also a second lead here coming off the plus that's going to the circuit. But it's super simple and it's a slow start circuit because the motor would pull more than the 3 amps that the protection module uh, would trigger at. So it would just move a tiny bit and then stop because it ran into the protection but I think I did already show that in the last video so anyway this works now I just added this um, what do you call it flyback diode no it's a it's a diode just a diode uh, that is so it's pointing in this direction this is where plus comes in where the red thing is this is where negative comes in so it will uh, stop the voltage spike coming out of the motor as soon as you stop the connection which should also protect the slow start circuit if it's susceptible to the high voltage spikes maybe the, the capacitor even acts as a diode itself but yeah just i'm just gonna put this here <coughs> so that works that has a new battery and there's a third thing i want to show you but it's pretty dark out there <laughs> so yeah not gonna do that now gonna do that tomorrow maybe <clears throat> i built a heating for my pool which is very nice because i can heat the pool up to over 30 degrees celsius so basically i have a bathtub outside even though it's the air is cold so really nice <clears throat> you do although have to use uh, firewood for it um, because I don't want to charge it, uh, not charge, heat it with electricity. Because electricity is super expensive here in Germany. I think we have to pay 25 to 27 cents, euro cents, by the way, not US dollar cents, euro cents per kilowatt hour. That's a lot. I think the Americans basically only pay half of it or even less. So it's much more common in other countries to heat with electricity but not in Germany because it's super expensive so electricity is a no-go for heating <clears throat> and the next best thing I could come up with would be firewood because we have access to a lot of firewood um, we don't have to pay for it I can basically just take some branches out of the woods although I think the government wouldn't like this so we just keep to our garden which well has some wood stuff neighbors maybe cut down trees so that's some wood more so we, we got enough wood to heat stuff i would like to use gas but not from a fucking bottle because i don't want to go out and be like hey can you fill up this gas bottle again because that's probably going to be expensive too what i would like to do is just run a long hose from our central heating uh, back into the garden and have a flame going instead of the wood fire this would be much cleaner though I would really love to have that and I would also not have to sit next to it and always uh, put in new new wood all the time and with a gas flame I would also not have to clean the radiator that I used to take up the heat and put it into the water um, but yeah, I cannot run a long gas line into the garden. A, because uh, the other people living in this house would probably kill me for it. And secondly, it's probably illegal because we have a lot of rules in Germany and they do not like hobbyists. So, yeah. Wood fire is the only thing I can go with now. Can't use coal because I kind of need the... 
I could use coal, but that's expensive. And I think that a fire is hotter, at least it makes the air hotter, because it burns right up against the radiator. And when it has burned down, there's only coal left, it's usually not getting as much of a temperature increase. So yeah, that's the updates. Tomorrow you will see a video of the heater. <clears throat> okay, bye bye. I forgot to mention I got an angle grinder. So I can now finally cut steel uh, because for my pool heating I had to cut it with a jigsaw. Um, which was pretty painful. This one is cut with um, with the grinder, <laughs> evidently by this curve, if you can even see it in the video. But yeah, there is a curve in here because it was like my first cut with the thing and that didn't work properly. But now I have an angle grinder and can finally cut steel without having to wait five hours for the jigsaw to go through it or ruin another saw blade. So yeah, angle grinder.